So this question is definitely a translate word problem question. We know that given the length of the question, it is uh, greater than three lines long. And what we want to do whenever answering translate word problem questions is to read it one sentence at a time and to make sure to write down any quantitative information and any information that just becomes relevant to how to understand that quantitative information as we read, right? We don't want to read the whole thing all the way through and then have to go back and pick out those details. So let's get started with this question. So the question says, a company that makes wildlife videos purchases camera equipment for $32,400. So I'm going to just write that down. Camera equipment. So camera equip is $32,400. Next sentence says, the equipment depreciates in value at a constant rate for 12 years. So that's very important. All right, so we know that this value of 32,400 is going down because that's what depreciate means. But the other important thing here is that it depreciates at a constant value, right? So I can say like minus X, minus X. I don't know what that value is, but it's the same amount. So this, these X's here represent the fact that each of these arrows, which represents a depreciation and it's 12 years, so I'll make 12 arrows. I'm at six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, each of those arrows represents the same amount of depreciation. So after the comma, it says, after which it is considered to have no monetary value. So we're going to get all the way down to this camera equipment being worthless or zero dollars. How much is the camera equipment worth four years after it is purchased? Okay, so four years after purchase would take us to here right? Because it's year one, two, three, and four. So all I need to do is figure out, well, what is this X value? What is the depreciation amount? Well, we know that we're depreciating the exact, the exact same amount each year for 12 years to get down to zero dollars. So the best way to figure out what that depreciation amount is, is by dividing the 32,400 by 12. Because doing that lets me know like what's one twelfth basically of thirty two thousand four hundred, and that becomes my depreciation amount. So we don't have use of a calculator because this is a, the non calculator section, so I have to do this by hand. But let's just do it. Twelve goes into thirty two two times. Two times twelve is twenty four. Thirty two minus twenty four is eight. I'll bring down the four. 12 goes into 84 exactly seven times. Um, we still have two zeros here, so let's just bring those down now. So I'll just say 12 goes into 8,400 700 times. So we now know that this X value is really, let's erase the Xs, this depreciation amount is really $2,700, so minus 2,700 each year. Okay, so we know we're going to get that for every single year, but all we care about for this particular question is for four years. So I'm gonna say, how much depreciation do I expect for four years? Well, that's gonna be 2,700 times four. Four times zero, zero. Four times zero, zero. Four times seven is 28. Four times two is eight, plus two is 10. So we're at 10,800. So all together, we're subtracting $10,800 from the original value of 32,400. So now I'm gonna do that math and just say, okay, that means I had 32,400 to start, and now I'm taking away 10,800. So that's zero, zero, borrow from that, make that a 14, makes that a six, and then one minus zero is one, and three minus one is two. So the value at the end of those four years should be $21,600 and I see that that is answer choice C.